Hi, this is Bhavya from Seabird International and today we are going to be talking about idioms. So what are idioms exactly? Idioms are expressions that cannot be understood from the meanings of its own separate words but have a separate meaning on its own. As in when you get to hear an idiom, you will not completely understand what we are talking about. So we are going to discuss about two idioms, idioms with vegetables and idioms with fruits. So let's start with the first one. The first one is to be full of beans. Now we are not talking literally about beans over here. The meaning of this idiom is to have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. So the example can be my little sister is always full of beans. She plays for hours without getting tired. The next one is to be cool as a cucumber. Now we don't mean cucumber over here. We, there is no link to cucumber at all. The meaning of this idiom is extremely calm and quiet so the example can be she was really nervous first but she acted as cool as a cucumber i mean that she was nervous but that didn't stop her from giving her interview and the third one is a couch potato now a couch potato is somebody who prefers to sit down all day and does no type of physical activity so the example can be oliver is a couch potato all he does is watch movies all day so you can try and fit these idioms into your speaking uh, when you are asked for your cue card or your questions to enhance your bands. And also if they can be used into writing but you have to use them accordingly. So these were the idioms with vegetables. Now we will be talking about idioms with fruits. So the first one is the apple of one's eye. Now we are not talking about an apple over here but the meaning of this idiom is someone or something very precious or dear. So the example can be Robin's little girl is the apple of his eye and he loves her very much as in you admire someone or somebody or something is very precious for you. The next one is to be a bad apple which means one bad person in a group of people who are good. So when you want to say something like uh, let's say something negative about a person but not in a proper negative manner. So the example can be all of John's friends are lovely except for Ben he is a bad apple. And the last one is to go bananas, which means to go crazy. So the example can be when I told John that he could go on his school trip, he went bananas. So these were the idioms with fruits that you can use in your speaking to enhance your bands. Stay tuned. We'll meet next time.